So this video is about making this Arbor Press base that you see right here in isometric view. And here it is, the dimension drawing, so we can kind of get uh, the details from here. The way I'm going to make this is I'm going to come along here and I'm going to make a rectangle here. And then I'm going to extrude it out this way. Okay. So if we look down here, we see that uh, our rectangle is going to be 3.5 along this direction here. And uh, this distance here is the sort of the depth of it, which so maybe not obvious from this drawing is one inch and then we're going to extrude out 2.9 okay so let's let's do that approach so we will uh, make a sketch on the front plane click on the front plane right click view normal 2 and then we're going to make a, <clears throat> a rectangle that is 3.5 by one inch and we're going to extrude that I like to go into the page by, I think it's 2.9. 2.9, is it? Let's see, let's go back here. 2.9, yes, right there. 2.9, and we'll take it there. Okay, so Shift 7 to make it isometric. The next thing I want to do is to add the features. Uh, let's see, let's make this one in blue. I want to add this feature right here. And uh, this feature here. Those are just going to be simple extrusions. And then I'll go back and I'll add the hole. So let's make these two in blue right now. And so we see that the radius here, what I'm going to do is make a circle here, and then two lines, and then trim part of the circle. So let's put a circle that's centered at uh, 0.5 inches from uh, this edge. And it says here that they're all, all features are symmetric about the AA axis. So the AA axis is right here. There's the A. There's the A. So I'm going to make the circle with a diameter of twice 3.3 and 0.5 inches from this side and right in the middle. So let's try that. So I'm going to place a sketch on the top here. Right click, view normal 2. <coughs> let's zoom up here. I'm going to place a circle and to make sure that it's centered uh, on the top as it should be, I'm going to wait until the center pops. So I've got a geometric constraint. This will be on the center. I'm going to pull out if I click there and then pull out, the radius is 2 times 0.313. And there we go. And let's get that out of the way. And I'm going to press D to get into dimension mode. And this distance here is 0.5. And that should be all it takes to make this thing black, which means it's fully constrained. OK. And remember, it's on the center line by that initial maneuver that I did. Now, I'm going to take a, a straight line and I'm going to put it here. You can see it's tangent. I'm going to come in here to there. And that, that doesn't look quite right, but we'll fix that. And another line over here to here, like that. OK. Come over here to the geometric constraint area, perpendicular. So I want this line to be perpendicular to that line. And that line to be perpendicular to that line. OK, it looks like it already was. So instead, what I need to do is go to the tangent geometric constraint. Click there. Click on the circle. Click here and it'll move it out. Uh, so now it's tangent. And I can use the trim tool to get rid of that part. So that's what I can extrude. All right. And let's see, the other part is, uh, let me do some erasing here. The other part now is this feature right here. We can see that its depth is 1 inch, 3.5 minus 2.5. So we go in 1 this way. And the width is one point. A 0, 1, 6. Okay. So let's take a rectangle and we'll put it right here. Come over here. And that distance is 1 and 1.016 that direction. And we know it has to be centered. So uh, we probably could have been a little more clever when we made that to have it automatically centered. But I'm going to use this distance here, 0 0.942. And that should center it. So from here to here. 0.942. And there we go. So I think we can extrude those features down. Let's do that. So I'll click Extrude, Remove, and I want to go through all. So I'll click there and there. Whoops. I th I'll tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of there. And I'm going to get in the practice. Whoops, it's not a sketch. I want to extrude. And I'm going to get in the practice of, of selecting the regions first. And then I'll go over here and click Remove, and through all and accept that, shift 7, and I think I'm okay there. All right, 
let's make the hole that is right here now. And you can see that it's I got a diameter of 0.255 and it goes down 0.562 and it's centered and it's a distance 1.062 from this edge over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll put another sketch on here, press N to make it normal. We're going to place this point here. See if I can still use the center. Yeah, I can do it, do it right there. So if I come over here to right there, you can see that's going to uh, find the center. I'm going to come out here and click there. So I've got my point. Press D on the keyboard to go into dimension mode and go from here to here. That was 1.062. Enter. And I think uh, that is all I need to do. So I'll accept that. And then I'll hit the hole button. Select there. And I've got a simple uh, blind hole that is um, Let's see, it's 2.55, 0.562. So the numbers are already there for me because I've done this before. So I'll accept that. And there we go. There's my hole there. Okay, so if we go back here, let's erase some of this stuff. And so the only thing we really have left to do is uh, this hole here, which is uh, also this hole here. And uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So it is. Uh, 0.375 diameter, it goes three quarters of an inch down, it's 0.5 from the top, and it's centered. This is kind of redundant with this feature, but it's there. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's put a sketch right there. Press N to make it look at you like that. We'll place a point. We'll try to find the center. There we go. And go straight up. We'll click it right there. Uh, We'll go to dimension, and this distance here is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and I think that's good. So we'll accept that. We'll press the hole tool. We'll grab it here, and let's see, what is it? It's 0 0.375 diameter, 0 0.375 tab, and then the depth is 0 0.75, 0 0.75 tab, and we'll accept it. Shift 7. And we're good. I'm going to turn off these uh, planes just to get them out of the way by pressing P. And then if I press F, it'll center it. It'll fit it. Okay, I think that's okay. So what am I missing? Let's go back here and erase everything. What am I missing? Well, I think I'm missing uh, this, these two chamfers here and here. And you can see that they are 0 0.690 and 1 inch. This is one. So let's chamfer those now. 0.69 and one. So I'm going to choose the chamfer tool here. Uh, two distances. 0.69 is one of them. One is the other. And I'll click there. And that's not what I want. You can tell that it's got a little ledge here. Whereas this one doesn't, so I have to switch it. So I'll click here. That's good. Now it'd be nice if I could just click here it would work, but it doesn't for some reason. You can't have them both be the same. So I'm going to select that, and I'll have to do this in two separate steps. So I'll accept that chamfer, and then I'll go back to the chamfer tool. I didn't remember. Oh, well, 0.69, uh, tab 1. And I'll go here and accept that. Shift 7. It's already isometric, so I think we are about done, except for this... Uh, this chamfer here, 0 0.6 and 45 degrees, which runs all along here. Let's go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I think we've got everything. 0 0.06 and 45 degrees. Chamfer, it's going to be equal distance, 0 0.06. And so I can come along here and grab these and chamfer at the top. And I think that's got it, so I'm going to accept that. and. Let's see what its volume is. 0 0.7846. 0 0.7846. So that looks okay. So I think we got that one correct. And um, so that is the Arbor Press base.